All right, I'm in Kayapa, and I'm on the Hardcore 100 tr uh, course right now. And so far, it's been pretty chill because it's like mostly kind of like gravel slash half concrete road, like trail. And so like, it's not very technical. So like, it's a lot easier to run uphill. It's also a lot easier to run downhill. So, so far, like the first 5K of the race are like, I'm pretty mellow, which are nice because it means they'll be quick. But uh, yeah, two days off from running because I've been traveling, doing some efforts today, and I don't really feel that good. But then again, I've been sitting on airplanes and buses for the last two days and have not had the best sleeps. So good to kind of get the heart rate up and shake things out and see a bit of the course and enjoy some rain. Good morning, Kayapa. All right, how are you guys doing? Um, I'm feeling really good today. It is the 12th, so four days until Hardcore 100 starts. And I gotta say, I'm out on the course right now and I got my full race kit, um, vest and everything. Uh, everything I need to race with is on me right now. And I was a little nervous about the weight uh, when I was packing it, but now that it's on, it just totally fine. You can really just see how like gorgeous this area is. It's so green and blue and white, just absolutely stunning. All right, welcome to Kayapa, and let me show you around. All right, this is the house I'm staying at. Currently, I'm the only marathoner staying there, but uh, apparently about 40 more people are coming tomorrow, so it's gonna be super cool. It's the place to be. Um, all right, let's keep going here. Super terrific, friendly town hall, which is where I do a lot of my work. And then just, oh, this is the one and only main street. And then we got uh, the public market. Jeez, look at those, eh? Crazy. And right here, we got the Kayapa Central School, which is where the race starts. Yeah, so this is where the race starts, and um, it's uh, super cool because it's literally like one minute walk from where I'm staying, and the race course just is right out, out front, starts here, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's great that I can come here and like visualize the start. This is also the finish, which is really nice because I can visualize the finish too. But yeah, super rad, beautiful little city. No, not city. This is the village. And then, yeah, here, we're just on the uh, start of the race course. And it's, uh, it's concrete or whatever you want to call it. So, beginning of the race is uh, uphill but runnable. Yo, so Hardcore 100 starts tomorrow. Um, I'm chilling out in my room. I just did a fruit run. Um, most of this I'm gonna eat today and tomorrow and then after the race, but uh, here's what I got. It's a fruit bonanza. Mm. <clears throat> so I bought five large watermelons. Um, what is that? That was three kilos of mangoes, and then I have three more right here, and then um, a bunch of bananas. So, it's all great, man. Like, the fruit's gonna keep me super hydrated, well topped up on glycogen before the race, and that's exactly what I need to recover after the race. So, the fruit again is, is perfect. So, um, yeah, super excited to tuck into this over the next few days and to start the race. and i been feeling really good. Uh, I've been sleeping, oh geez, like close to 10 and a half, 11 hours each night. So um, that's been feeling really good. Weather's been good. So, all right, yeah, all right. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. All right, so you guys ready to run 100 miles tomorrow? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Don't say bad words. Don't say bad words. <laughs> How about you guys, ready to run 100 miles tomorrow? 
No. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Should be fun. How are you? Are you ready? ready. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Woo! All right, these are the Iron Ladies of Hardcore 100, making sure all the athletes are fed. Yeah! Look at this rice, too. Look at this. How many kilos can you get in here? How many kilos of rice? Uh, at least uh, five kilos. That's so much rice. Later, up to here, maybe eight, eight uh, cups. Okay. If I'm here, I want I want to see you pour it all in because I think Especially that. Especially tomorrow. Because, yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody's already here. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. here already. I need to cook more. Yes. It's so much rice. All right. So into one of my drop into both of my drop eggs, I'm putting 500 grams of sugar. And here's what I did with it: is I cut a small hole in the bag in the corner, and then I tied it with an elastic. So all I have to do is rip that elastic off. And then I can just hold this over my soft flask and it's just gonna drip right in. And then that's it. And this is 500 grams. The whole thing probably won't fit into my water bottle. But um, either way, this is 2,000 calories and it weighs 500 grams. That's insane, uh, which is really good. And then also in my drop eggs, water raisins, um, dates, and then I got noon tablets. Um, let's see what else do I want. Oh, I got some cacao nibs, and then some dried tomatoes, so it's pretty much everything. Uh, salt, sugar, water, so what I'm going to run on. That was a weird face. Alright, I was super prepared, dropped my bags off. Yeah, sure. Already, nice and early. How you doing, man? Hey, man. Good, all good. good. Pre-race meeting, and if you spin around, dude, look at those mountains. That's what we get to go run in. Each and every of the emails answered all your questions, wise or otherwise. So, uh, I assume there are no more questions. Yo, so I'm just chilling out in my room. It is 7.30. Race doesn't start till 11, so I got another three and a half hours to wait. Um, I've basically just been like chilling out, um, reading a bit today, and just napping, or trying to nap at least. All right, about 40 minutes to go. Just chilling, calm before the storm. Here's where we're at. Please. Please. Okay, then. All right, so I hit a uh, really bad log, and um, you can see how bloody my face is. And um, I think that's pretty much going to be my race, 40k or 14k. Um, just kind of sucks putting in all that time, and yeah, just feel a little lightheaded, and my neck hurts, and yeah. All right, so this is how I look in the hospital. There's the cut up there. Wow, a little bit of a bruise. Lost some hair, so I can they can stitch it. About four centimeters long, and I'm getting stitches. This on the face. And a special haircut. And a special haircut. Um, this blood on the f face and on my eyes, um, I think, is just spilled down from there. So I'm not bleeding. I don't think in the nose. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like I made the right, no, I definitely did make the right decision in stopping just because I felt kind of dizzy and my neck is really sore and my arm was tingling and obviously I need stitches, so this is the, uh, reality. Four months of training, 1,500 kilometers, 60,000 meters of vertical, and I made it 14 kilometers. The other thing I will say now that I'm just more comfortable is that, um, like, I felt like my training was uh, really good because I felt really steady on the uphills and I felt really, really good on the uh, on the downhills. Um, I felt really light. Um, just felt, uh, yeah, man, I was gliding on the downhills. I wasn't moving that fast, but just like really, really effortless. So I feel like things I feel like I was in good shape. But, uh, well, there you go.